welcome back. As you can tell from the title of the video, I am going to try on my sunglasses. I mostly have Gentle Monster sunglasses just because they're so much more comfortable and I believe they are designed for Asian faces. It is made in Korea. It is a Korean brand so that could be the reason why but so I'm gonna start out with my current favorite. It's the one that I got uh, on my trip to Puerto Rico earlier this year. It is uh, this guy right here. It's the style cell. This is what the cell looks like. I love a square sunglasses. I've mentioned that in the past too. And I love that this is like a flat base and I love that look. I feel like it makes it look wider. Slightly smaller than the her, but still oversized and I feel like this can be either dressed up or be casual, which is why I love this one so much. So this is a square sunglasses, acetate I believe, all black. I want to get the other colors too, but I think they're currently sold out. I will link everything in the description box below. So this is one of my absolute favorites and if you watch this video, you're gonna see that's pretty similar style. Everything is kind of in the similar family. I am... Uh, <laughs> Quite loyal to the sheet that I like. They generally are always sold out but I will link it in the description box below and you can sign up for email notification and when it comes in you can just buy it or you can go to the Soho location if you live in New York and pick it up there. Next favorite also a recent purchase is my Saint Laurent sunglasses SL474. This is another one of my favorites. Honestly I scratched this up quite a bit because I've been wearing this quite a lot. This is very light and very comfy. Again, in kind of like the square style, but it's not a flat base. But I absolutely love it. I think this is such a beautiful classic style. So lightweight, sits on the ridge of my nose and it doesn't rest on my cheeks. I love that. Uh, my face is, I have a slightly more round with the oval face shape. I don't know what you would call that. I believe it's called a heart shaped face. In my personal opinion, I feel like square sunglasses looks the best on this kind of face shape. If that's my personal opinion. These are the SL474. Love. Super lightweight and comfy again. Can't go wrong with this. I love that this is like this line here is completely straight up here. I love that look. I feel like it gives us a very polished, clean, yet casual look. So, yeah. That's another one of my top favorite. It is the Saint Laurent SL474. It's in the all black. Next up, new purchase slightly towards the end of last year, so during Christmas last year. Um, I wear this, but not on my top favorites. Uh, all my sunglasses are so dirty with all the fingerprints, guys. Please forgive me if you see prints. I wear them, so you know. So this is another flat base but the edges is slightly more rounded if you can tell oversized and this is the style my ma uh, flat base and in like the tortoise shell uh, I like this I mean I don't love it like I love some of my other pairs but I don't hate it either it's slightly different because the edges are rounded um, oversized that's what I like about this one comfy again lightweight you can wear it all day slightly rounded here flat base if you want something that's more rounded I think you might like this one and it's still a flat base sunglasses tortoise shell okay so this one is my favorite I have this in all four shades that's how much I like it I bought it last year I think or when it first came out I have all four shades and I constantly wear this because generally with sunglasses, sometimes I tend to get tired of this tile and I end up giving it away to my sister. But this tile, I believe it's called... This is the Her Black Base. My favorite. I think uh, on my top favorites, I honestly can't pick. This one is like a classic square absolutely love this i think it's so chic works with anything lightweight that's the her in all black this style i have all the colors and i haven't got tired of this i am constantly wearing this one i have it in this tortoise shell the black the gray 
and the nude. I think the tortoiseshell and the black are almost identical. Let me find that. If you want me to be honest, I think the tortoiseshell and the black are almost identical. Like that's the black. And this is the tortoiseshell. They're like literally almost identical. This is the her and like the tortoiseshell. Again, super lightweight. I feel like if you're deciding with the black or the tortoiseshell, they are so similar. Get either one of them in case anything is sold out. They look almost identical. Not for me though, but either one of this would work because I feel like they're quite similar, especially in terms of the color. The shade of tortoiseshell in this one is a lot more darker. It's like not like a light tortoiseshell. I also love, love, love the nude ones too because I like to wear these mostly in the winter and when it's not sunny out but I want to wear sunglasses but I don't want to go with the completely black sunglasses then I wear this one beautiful kind of like a brownie transparent brownie this is the her in like the light brown perfect for days when it's not too sunny winter and cloudy but you still want to wear sunglasses this the her in like this light brown shade which is kind of transparent love I also love to wear that one with the monochromatic look so, and then I have the last shade which is like this light gray honestly it's a lot lighter it looks kind of dark on the frame on camera but it's very very light this one again I wear when I'm like it's not sunny out but I want to wear sunglasses and I don't want to look ridiculous with dark jet black sunglasses so this is what I wear either one of these perfect for cloudy days when it's like not too sunny out these are without a doubt my top favorites um, i believe they come in four shades and i have all four and if they were if ever to add additional colors i for sure would definitely buy them size comparison this is the her and that's the cell kind of similar in terms of style and size but i feel like the her is slightly bigger love 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 these these are my favorite sunglasses i mean if you shop at gentle monsters you know that they come up with like different pouches every collection and i have a mix of the collection i know this is the most recent but otherwise actually no this is the most recent pouch and this was the one right before it and I think it was the white ones, but honestly, I don't remember. And I honestly don't care where it goes because I always use my Saint Laurent pouch, this one, to put my sunglasses in because it's a lot more flatter and easier to carry it in my bag. It's a lot less bulky. The other glasses that I got also recently was this one. This is the Bliss. I think you've seen this quite a few times on my channel already. also love this. I feel like I don't wear this as much as I'd like to because I like to get UV protection on my eyes and I feel like this is more of like a style thing that I usually wear which is why I feel like I don't wear it as much as I'd like to but another very cute light like uh, comfortable sunglasses this style is bliss another sunglasses that I picked up from Chanel last year uh, when I was with my mom I mean the Chanel packagings are so cute but they're so bulky and honestly I'm not able to carry them at all. This is uh, sunglasses that I got from Chanel last year. I really really like it because it has the classic Chanel across. It's black and white, it's still a square frame but not as bulky. Uh, in terms of size I think it's kind of similar to the cell, right? It's just that the cell is slightly more flat and Chanel one is, is not as flat. I guess it's a little more rounded in terms of like the flatness is slightly more rounded. So this is a classic black and white Chanel sunglasses. I don't know if I would recommend the Chanel pairs if you have like a higher cheekbone or slightly chubbier. It's like super chic. I usually wear this when I'm like completely monochromatic or black or white, super casual. I don't try to wear it with logos because then it's a lot going on. But I love this. I also had liked another sunglasses from Chanel that has like the Swarovski. I believe it's all black with the white Swarovski Chanel across. 
and it's more of a writing not an engraving like this if I ever come across it maybe I might get it honestly I'm not sure for sure love this one I find it very pretty and classic and yes it has the chardonnay across like this it has like the chardonnay across like that but somehow I don't feel like it looks tacky my personal opinion again uh, love 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 that uh, so these seven pairs are usually on rotation I'm always wearing them and some of these I got like a while ago two years ago I don't wear them as much as I used to but they are kind of cute this mirrored frame usually I wear these kind of mirror style when I'm at the poolside that's when I like to wear these sort of like this mirrored frame this is the style double bread it's a metal frame I feel like if you have really chubby cheeks or higher cheekbones like when the cheekbones are slightly higher or you have slightly chubbier cheekbones glasses tend to sit on your cheeks and generally uh, with those kind of face shape I would recommend a metal frame with like this kind of high ridges because with that I feel like it doesn't sit on the cheeks uh, anyone that has that kind of problem usually when I recommend these kind of glasses they don't have that issue because these type of glasses sit pretty high up and there's a lot of room here so if you tend to have a higher cheekbones or a chubbier cheekbone a metal frames do work better and it doesn't necessarily have to be gender monstrous you can go with any brand but metal frames tends to work better if you have higher cheekbones or a chubbier cheek or you have issues where your uh, sunglasses sit on the cheeks so this is the double beard is it yeah it's a mirrored frame I don't know if I would call it flat base but it is pretty cool I haven't worn this since forever I think the last time I wore it was in Puerto Rico when I was chilling by the poolside so the mirrored frames I tend to say before when I'm at the poolside I feel like it's just right for that vibe but it is your personal preference if you want to wear this outside go ahead and wear it outside there's no rules to this the lens is like mirrored lens which is um shadowy gray so the other mirror frame i have is a collab with tilda swinton and with when she had a collaboration with jenna monster it kind of looks like the dior sunglasses that which was really popular at one point it looks like so uh, i believe it's called trick of the light uh, and it's titanium if i'm not mistaken could be wrong but i believe because i've had this for a while uh, when it, initially when I got this it, and it also came with the special pouch velvet pouch very cushiony almost looks like a Miu Miu shade uh, when I first got this I used to wear this a lot metal frame but yeah I haven't worn it in the last three years I think but it's still part of my collection. I just don't feel like giving it away because it's a special piece and limited edition. Another pair that I have that it's which is a flat base that I initially loved quite a lot and now I'm just not able to wear it because you know when your sunglasses are loose you can go to the showroom, Jenna Monster showroom and they can fix it for you. So it was kind of loose and when they fixed it they made it really tight I've gone back like a couple of times to have this fixed but for some reason it doesn't fit the same and I it's not comfy it's the cutest style it's a flat base and also has that rounded edge this style is called in scarlet I don't know if they still have it if they do I will link it in the description box below uh, this is what it looks like but it's for some reason it doesn't feel comfy anymore I mean because the other pairs are so much more comfy but this is what sorry guys I have a mirror right here so I'm trying to see how it looks so this is what it looks like flat base slightly rounded all black I have it it's in my collection have I worn it no because every time I wear it it doesn't feel comfy and I don't like wearing sunglasses when I feel like I have something sitting on my face I want it to be lightweight and comfy which is why I don't wear this as much this is the in scarlet style I don't know if they still have it but it's slightly rounded and almost like a cat eye style slightly tapered up here this sunglasses again it's like about three years old four years old right I remember when I got this everyone loved it 
I received a lot of DMs asking me what style this was. This one and the her sunglasses are the ones that I got the most DMs on my Instagram asking me where I got them from and the style. So this is the style Bye Bye. It's another metal frame black with gold metal frame. Another oversized squarish kind of style. I would recommend if you again have that problem with the sunglasses sitting on your cheeks or if you have higher cheekbones or if your nose ridge is not high enough if you have that kind of problem generally I feel like that's what the problem is with the sunglasses if it sits on your cheeks is either our cheekbones is too high cheeks might slightly be chubby or your nose ridge is not high enough I feel like that's that's the issues I've had in the past generally I feel like a metal frame with this kind of bed interior here like this bit interior always sits better on the face if you have that issue so try to try in sunglasses that have that so this is what this one looks like metal frame black metal frame with gold super comfy lightweight again I can't feel it on my face I wear this more than the other two metal frame because they, these are mirrored and I don't like the mirrored style so much nowadays. This one I still wear them not as much as these two because these have like that mirror and I feel like this is something where I can wear to the city, park, it's more versatile I feel. The mirrored ones I don't find them very versatile honestly if you want me to be honest but they are very cute too. I used to also have Frida a bunch of other styles in the Gentle Monsters. Uh, I gave them all away to my sister and my cousins because I feel like if they can wear it and I don't wear it so much, I'd rather just hand it down. So those are all my Gender Monster sunglasses, at least the ones I've kept for myself. Uh, I used to have a lot of Celine sunglasses. I gave them all away. It was a phase and I gave them all away. And after I started uh, wearing Gender Monsters, I usually don't find myself reaching for other, other brands. I do, however, love my Saint Laurent pairs. If you've never bought a Gender Monster sunglasses, I would recommend trying them out because uh, they're super comfy, priced well, and the Gender Monster showroom in Soho is amazing. The interior is fabulous. If you do go shopping there on a weekend, I would recommend going early because the lines do tend to get really long. And maybe on the weekdays, they don't really have a line. So go into the showroom, try on their glasses. They have like a beautiful selection of sunglasses and the prices are incredible. They're not like your... Dior Chanel pairs. So those are all the sunglasses I have with me currently. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in my next one.